Hello there, welcome back to another video. I know it has been uh, quite some time since the last one. And of course, as always, I only walk with my keep up. Um, so today, I figured I would do a review of, well, obviously, according to the title, CBS All Access, which for those of you who do not know, it's their subscription service where, you know, kind of like Amazon Prime Video or Prime Video, whatever they call it now, uh, Hulu, Disney Plus, you know, that kind of thing. Um, now, keep in mind, I haven't paid for the service, thank God, uh, I decided, thankfully, to go for the free trial. Now, before I get into the review, you're probably going to be saying, well, how can you be reviewing it if, you know, you aren't paying for it, you're just doing a free trial? Well, last I checked... When you do a free trial, you're, you know, experiencing the entire website as it is, or as you would be experiencing it, is if you pay for it, you know, kind of draw you in, saying, hey, look, this is how great this is. Um, so, CBS All Access has done something a little odd, but great. Well, I thought it would be great. Where, you know, normally a trial is seven days, right? You get the occasional 14 days, you know, I think it's a week or two, or even you know, a few days, whatever. But, you know, the average one is about seven days. It's about a week, right? CBS All Access is 30 days, so it's a whole month. Right. Waffle, come on. Um, so, you know, makes it seem like, okay, cool, we're going give a month for trials. Now, what's interesting is they have two subscription options. They have, uh, like a standard option that has commercials they're usually like between 90 and 100 some seconds of commercials which is about an average of five commercials um so, and they have the you know, commercial free okay whatever now i'm gonna tell you straight up right now do not subscribe to cbsl access because i can tell you i don't want to subscribe you cannot pay me enough to subscribe and here's why now, my computer will, you know, cut off the internet every now and then. It'll kind of just cut off for a minute or two. Not really a minute or two, but, you know, like a few seconds, right? And, uh, you know, kind of, that kind of happens every now and then. It's not that often. However, it happens a lot when I use CBSL Access. I mean, CBSL Access has a serious problem. It has a buffering problem. Every episode, as I've been watching Star Trek Discovery, the main reason I did, you know, the, um, the trial. Oh, you know, because I'm a huge Star Trek fan. I really want to see the Star Trek Discovery. The only reason I'm still watching anything on CBS All Access right now is because I'm watching Discovery. It's only on Discovery. So I'm using a free trial to, you know, watch that and uh, the other Star Trek show. And then I'm done. I'm not going to watch anything else. I'm not subscribing to it. I'll make sure I, I'm, I, you know, make sure I, I'm not going to pay any money for it because, again, you've got to pay me enough to use it. Um, because, again, it, like every episode, at least good three or four times, it makes my internet cut off. And I think it's because it's relying on Facebook because, and I say that because on the bottom, every once in a while, on the bottom left-hand corner, might be in the right-hand corner for you, I don't know. But, you know, you will see waiting for Facebook. You know, when this stops, or when it starts buffering, waiting for Facebook. That's a huge buffering problem, too. Um, so, that, and, and it's not just like a... Okay, and so sometimes I kind of automatically, you know, keep going with the buffer, you know, it'll buffer and then keep playing. Right, but a lot of the time you have to refresh. Like I've had to refresh uh, a, a minimum one time per episode. I'm only ten episodes. Can really do it. Sometimes I've had to refresh it three or four times an episode just to fix the buffering, and then another two or three times, you know, because it just you know won't connect back. So CBS All Access is a major problem. Uh, I would not subscribe to either of it. Because, I mean, you would think that as, because they're having about five ads per commercial break. And there's a lot of commercial breaks. And one really irritating thing is most of the time the last commercial break, a lot of, you know, a little bit of commercials, is just to get the, um, it, it's at the end. It's, and by at the end, I mean it's literally at the end. It's like, hey, commercials, and then it's, um, and then it's, uh, oh gosh, I've forgotten. It's, uh, the credits, that's what it is. And the credits are rolling. So, that's, so, you think with all the money they're making, you know, just off commercials alone, they would be able to, 
you know have a system that actually works so there it is in short do not subscribe to cbsl access do not give them your money because i mean unless they're gonna fix it i mean because this is ridiculous i mean it, 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 it has like a million more problems but i i, I honestly try to make this short video so there you have it my recommendation do not buy it because thankfully i'm not paying for it right now and i'm not gonna pay for it i'm gonna pay for it if these issues get fixed but if they don't, no way. I'm not, I would not pay. I'd much rather have, like, funny thing, I thought Disney Plus was, <laughs> was bad service. I mean, great shows. CBS All Access, they have some, you know, great shows. Because um, I've seen some, some shows they offer. They're great. But great shows don't make a good service or a great service. It's, you know, the functionality of it. It's, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So, again, do not put your money into CBS All Access. Go with the Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus bundle. Because, um, hey, Hulu may have its issues. Uh, Disney Plus definitely has its issues, but they're a lot better than CBS Alex. So there you go. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter at ZachRider747. Don't forget to check out uh, my podcast on a bunch of different platforms. If you want to find out what platform it is on, you can follow us on Twitter at on the table pod c1 so there you have it stay tuned stay awesome thank you all so much for watching yeah all right bye